Hello and welcome back to my Spec Ops Learn With Me series. Today we're going to be covering Spec Ops's U Reset product. So the U Reset product is a really neat tool and service to uh, help you get enroll your users and allow them to get their passwords reset and lots of other things. Um, so let's quickly go over that. So you reset has a few common components. One of them is called the gatekeeper. So I'm here in the, uh, the gatekeeper component. Gatekeeper software is the software that syncs um, all of your Active Directory passwords and information to the spec ops cloud. So there's a component that syncs all that information to the cloud and you can see here that you have um, you know various information in um, the gatekeeper product you can set all this stuff up and you can see that the cloud connection status here is connected and a few different urls some uh, some in useful information here that we'll cover this in a minute and you'll have um, some active directory settings in here now this is part some of this is part of um, spec ops's authentication product you reset is a component in that product so all of this is not necessarily you reset but if you go over here to the reset tab, you'll see various things in here. Um, so first off, you'll see um, GPOs tagged for you reset. Now, if you want your users to be controlled by you reset, so allow them to reset their password with you reset various password reminders and that sort of thing, you can um, tag them as a GPO and, and assign that GPO to them. And the same thing with you reset setting is the various settings in here, but we're not going to go um, into all that. So let's focus on the clouds. The uh, the cloud component is the uh, or the spec ops authentication web, I believe they call it, is probably the most interesting. So let's first go off to I don't know. Let's just go off to the you reset start, and we'll explore this. So this is the self service portal. So you reset has a really cool self service portal that. Everyone can go to, you can see here that you can, um, users can reset their password um, or if they know their password already, or they can even say, forgot my password. So you reset provides some identity provider, which I'll show you here in a minute, that allows users to reset their password um, and allows them to authenticate through these various identity providers. So it's a really cool service. All right, here's something else I wanted to show you um, about authenticating. So I originally um, was going to admin the you reset service. So as an admin, I have to go through the same general authentication processes that um, your users have to. So I have had I have the SMS identity provider set up. And you see here that when I tried to log in with my username and password, it told me that it's going to you know give you that common SMS um, authentication. Let's see here. I'm going to sit on click on new code because I don't know my existing code. And you can see here that it does say there is my code 319486 so i type in 319486 confirm and now i am in because i have the uh, the policy set up to then provide more than one different type of authentication so at, at this point i provided my password my mfa code and then now i need to fill up these these stars so I, I generally, I, I can do either of these. So let's do, I don't know, let's do Google Authenticator first. So now I need my Google Authenticator code. So I'll pull out my phone and grab my code. My code, and I'll put my code in, hit OK. And I now I filled out two more stars. Now I need either one star. So I can either pick this, the Spec Ops Authenticator or my Windows Identity. All right, I'm going to take the easy right here. I have the Spec Ops Authenticator um, app on my phone, but maybe you don't have your phone with you, so you can just choose Windows Identity, and then you can provide the the password, the Windows password of the uh, the user account, your admin account in this case. All right, I am finally authenticated. So you can see that it's it's really secure. It forced me to put in the password. I did my multi-factor authentication with the uh, the SMS code and also use the Google Authenticator app. There's lots of different identity providers. So to give an example of the different identity providers you hear, you can click on Identity Services. You can see there, there's quite a bit of them. I mean, I've got, um, I only have a few of them configured right now just for demonstration purposes, but you can see that you can configure um, lots of them. And these, these identity providers will authenticate both admin access to manage you reset and also the, uh, the self-service portals. All right, I'm going to click down through and just go over some highlights of um, what you might see, what may be interesting to see. Porting, this is another um, neat one that I um, come across that I wrote in the article. 
was that you can um, run reports on you know just about all the different activity you can find. So I haven't done much here, so you can see total enrollments performed. There we have. Um, I have two users enrolled in this system, but you can go to these various um, settings here and see you know what's going on. So you can see here that I've got I've enrolled, created some, deleted some users. I've enrolled um, various things. So there's lots of different um, reports in here that you can generate based on you know whatever um, kind of information that you want. So the reporting is actually pretty good. All right, we go over here in the product section, and this is the specific U reset section. So all of this up here, this is technically Spec Ops authentication. There, the two um, components kind of mix. U reset is kind of a product of the Spec Ops authentication umbrella, from what I gather. And here in U reset is where you can configure a lot of interesting things, just specific to U reset. So you see here we have um, policy mode. You'll see cloud and group policy. Now there's two different kind of entities with you reset. There's the cloud accounts and then there's your local on-prem accounts. There's um, there's some syncing that, that occurs between both of them, but for the most part, you can click group policy if you want to manage authentication rules via a GPO, or you can go over here to cloud, which is the default, and this will be the policy that will apply across all users. So if you want to get more granular, you can choose group policy to change things like you know the various authentication rules, but uh, by default, just in the demo, I wanted to keep it simple, so we kept it um, on cloud. So if you go in here to auth edit authentication rules, this will show you that um, that same kind of screen we saw over here in the policy. This allows you to you know set and define each of the different identity services that you want, um, whether required or or optional. You can even say change the weight. This is a neat little feature that they have for the weight. So you can tell how each entity provider, um, how important it is. So if you say spec ops fingerprint, you're going to change that to a weight of three. So that means that one is more important. You, you, you assign more weight to that identity provider. So that was important versus something like the Google or uh, an SMS code that may, may not be as secure, you could just provide that as one star here. So then you can force them to just fill up the number of stars that you want. I really like this, the, this kind of waiting service that they have here. Let's move on to changing the password. Let's just say that I'm logged in as an admin account now and I want to change one of the passwords under the control. So you can do this a few different ways. You can go over here to spec up software. There's a, a client that you install on the machine. Um, you can go here and click on change password or they actually replace the change password screen in Windows, which allows you the user to click on a link and then go to that. So that's another option. But for now, let's just click on change password and it goes through. And it says, uh, you know, what is your authentication name? So I could be, you know, right now I'm going to be test user four, I believe. I could be anywhere. So I can change my name. I can change my password on prem or, you know, remotely, whatever. All right. And once I do this, since I have the SMS code set up, I will put that in 847435. Hit confirm. And now, since I have this set up for this test user, it's going to ask me to confirm. All right, once you finally know the password, then you can see we need your new password, new password. So if I know the password ahead of time, I can just click on new password on this change password here, or I could also hit control alt, delete and uh, see the here, but my recording software isn't the greatest. It doesn't work with the control alt, delete, but you could trust it. If you hit control alt, delete, it will then show you the link which then comes to this link, which then they will have to provide their identity um, per permission. So here we just, all this is configurable. So on the authentication rules, you can configure the specific password policy that you want. So all this is configured. And then let's see here, over here, if once they're on this screen, they're authenticated, they can come back to this screen like you saw before. And if they don't know their password, they can click on, I forgot my password. And they don't even need to provide their Windows identity password at that point. Since they have all the, since they have um, enrolled their different identity providers, they can simply click on, I forgot my password. And then you will see here that, what, that whatever identity provider is assigned to them, they can authenticate that way. And they can, then it, can, it would immediately go back to the, um, the password change screen that you see here. So that's kind of the gist of U Reset. There's a lot of things in there, but we haven't, you know, they haven't went through. But from the setup that I did and the work through that I did for the for the, the blog post, 
I mean, I, it's a pretty, uh, it's it's simple enough to kind of sum it up. It's simple enough to really to be useful, but it's complex enough to have all of the things that you would need to securely um, allow your users to change their passwords.